Well, hello and welcome to Vlogtober. Uh, sorry, I'm distracted. Today is day 10 and you know, today's been one of those days. It just hasn't worked out in my favor. Um, everything's fine, like nothing's wrong. It's just like everything I feel like took forever at work. Oh, sorry, this is like kind of in the way. Um, uh, whatever, it's just gonna be there. Like, I feel like I got nothing done at work today. It was just, it was a lot, y'all, it was a lot. And I'm just like in a funk, there's rain still, and it's like rain raining every single day. So, yeah. But, I'm gonna be heading home in just a few minutes. I ran to Trader Joe's. I'm not gonna show you what I got, because it's really boring. I got some crackers, and I had to get zucchini, and then also, what else did I get? Hold on, it was something that I never, oh, a shallot. All right, I got two shallots, because they came in like a little packet too. I didn't know what a shallot was. I mean, most people in the world know what shallots are. This is annoying. Um, but apparently, I don't know what a shallot is. So, I got educated on what a shallot was by the Google machine, and I need it for an upcoming recipe that I think I'm gonna make this weekend. But, I don't know. I could not find it for the life of me at the grocery store yesterday. I'm sure they had them. I just was looking in the wrong section. For me, I was thinking like a shallot was like a leek, kind of, like those long leeks. I don't know why, but it's clearly not. Like, <laughs> anyways, like what's a shallot? So anyway, um, I'm heading home now. I'm kind of in a funk. I'm in a weird little mood. So I don't know if I'm gonna get to editing videos today. We'll see, we'll see when I get home. I'm not like 100% decided on that situation. But, oh, I did make uh, two doctor's appointments today, which is exciting. So those are actually happening in this month. So while Vlogtober's happening, you know, it's like, here's the deal. I don't really talk about health stuff too often or diet stuff or medical things or medications like too often. I try not to like kind of consciously because I feel like that's kind of between you and your physician and every body and everyone is different and we all react differently to different you know, treatments and medications and therapies and working out, not working out, eating, you know, certain types of ways, eating other types of ways, you know, we're all, we're all so different. And as some of you know that have been watching my channel for a long time, I have thyroid disease. So I've been off medication for a little while and I feel like it's time to get back on the medication. I'm just feeling really tired and lethargic and like my moods and mental things have been happening, which is also a side effect of thyroid disease as well. Um, some, it sometimes affects certain people and not other people. Everyone's thyroid disease is very different. So like I'm hypothyroid and that's typically when you gain a lot of weight and you're really tired. Those are like the main, main symptoms. Um, but then there's also hyperthyroid where you lose a lot of weight and you have a lot of energy. I have a hypothesis that I actually had hyperthyroid when I was a lot younger because that's exactly who I was and what I was all about and I was super, super thin through that period of time. I was the same height I am right now. I'm about, I'm like a little shy of 5'6", like with shoes on I'm 5'6". And I was maybe 110 pounds and um, that was with me trying to gain weight and I could not gain weight. I was always fluctuating between 105 and 110 and I could not gain weight for the life of me. Then I finally like stabilized for um, a little while and felt really good. I felt really comfortable in my own skin. I, I didn't feel comfortable very thin. I also don't feel comfortable right now. And um, I don't know, it's just like one of those things. So I have this, I was never checked for it, but I have this like sneaking suspicion that I was. So anyway, um, and uh, one of my physicians that I absolutely loved and I wish that she uh, still practiced medicine. She is uh, now a college, per or she went back to like being a, a teacher at a, at a college. She was telling me that that does happen sometimes where, you know, you're, you go one way and then you go the other way. So 
um, that definitely can happen within your body. You're just like more susceptible to that or whatever. But that's what she told me. So like clearly I'm not a medical channel. I'm not giving medical advice. Please don't take my advice. But I don't know. The reason that I don't really talk about medical stuff is that it tends to get a lot of comments about medical stuff where yes, some things can be helpful, but then also I just don't want anyone to feel bad in the comments if like that specific therapy or that specific treatment or whatever like doesn't work for them or something. I don't know. I don't know. I just get weird about medical stuff. Even though I've like rambled on for a little while, but I you know, I'm kinda like I give as much information as I feel like is appropriate, but I guess I'm not like ready to share everything. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I don't know. Maybe someday when I'm like comfortable enough talking about this whole thing, maybe I'll talk about like my thyroid story or something I don't know but most people are like very uninterested in that kind of stuff I mean I don't know I don't know what you guys are into you never know you guys like some weird stuff on the internet but I like you so it's all good so anyways I made two appointments one with the one with the lady doctor which is super exciting and then one with my general practitioner that I need to talk to about the thyroid things and he may or may not end up referring me to um like an internist like somebody that actually like does like more thyroid things i'm i'm just not sure what he's gonna want to do i'm sure it'll depend on like what my labs are and like what he thinks i should be doing um but anyway that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day and a whole nother video but um you know i'll share as much as i feel like sharing when those times happen so can I just give you like a general idea of what's happening so I've been rambling on for way too long now and I need to go home and I think I just need to like bump some gangster rap on the way home because I've been in a mood today so yeah <laughs> but I will see you guys when I get home and I see the doodle and um yeah you'll see me over there well hey I am home I've been home for quite a while now I just took the trash out, so I don't know, you can't really tell, but it's raining outside still, so I'm a little wet. But tomorrow is also donation day, which is kind of weird because I'm putting a trash bag at the end of my driveway on trash day, but it's donations. But I have to put a big EF, a big E and F. I don't know, it's not really coming off on camera, but anyway. I have another trash bag. I'm gonna take upstairs and put donations in. And I'll, I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't know. Maybe I'll show you what I'm putting in there. I just have like this bin that I got from, where did I get it from? Ikea a while back. And this bin just now sits in my closet. And anything that I find in the vicinity up here that looks like it should go somewhere else to live this is where it goes so here is the current status of my bin i've got a few different things i've got a shirt i've got some like hardware in here i've got some other things then i got some clothing and some bedding stuff in there but that's what's going to donation and clearly i keep the little crumply can and that stays with me. So yeah, there's just like no, there's no good place to put you guys, but that's what I'm doing. So I don't know, let me see. Let me see if I can put you somewhere. Okay, well, we're really kitty wampus, but we're gonna go with it. I might actually need more than, I might need more than one bag, I'm not sure. And I've got a bunch of hardware knobs, which didn't end up working out for me. Those are supposed to be for the closet, or not the closet, the, um new office, but they ended up being too big and I couldn't find the exact receipt. So I was like, screw it. And I went and just bought another other knobs. And this is the bedding from the old bed, the sheets. I didn't end up selling these. I mean, they're just from Target, so whatever. All right, it actually all fit in one bag. I'm pretty surprised. There's my donation bag. So this is gonna go out at the end of the driveway in the morning, not right now, cause it's raining out right now currently. So yeah, let's, turn the light off even though I'm leaving the other one on but it's all right so I put this bag right behind my um, my dad's car so it reminds me in the morning when I you know leave my driveway to pull this out and put it at the end of my driveway 
So yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. It's very unexciting here. <laughs> I don't really have like anything interesting going on at the moment, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. All right. I left the light on in here so I could see. Doyle, you stay there. Doyle likes to come out here sometimes. I don't like it. I don't like it when he comes outside here. Cause you just never know what's on the floor. Okay. Dun dun dun. And there's the bag behind the dad car. There it is. So yeah, I'll put that out in the morning. And uh, they just said it has to be out by 7:30, and that's fine because. I'll probably be at work by 7.30. <laughs> but I'm gonna go take the Doyle out for the rest, or for, you know, not the rest of the evening, for the evening. Um, it's already pretty late. It's almost 10 o'clock, it's like five to 10. So it is time to go to bed and do those things. And sorry I was in like a funk today. I'm still in a funk. I don't know. I've just got like, I'm attitudinally challenged to something. I don't know, maybe Doyle's rubbing off on me. Doyle, are you rubbing off on me? Yeah, you giving me attitude, sir? I think he's giving me attitude. But all right, we're gonna go. He wants to go outside, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> yeah.